Right, it's 25 past 12 on a Wednesday afternoon and we're at the UE bike shed and me and Hansi are going to conduct a bit of research on why people cycle to university and how safe they feel the surrounding areas as well. We're going to be um, conducting this research around the UE bike shed and hopefully there'll be quite a few cyclists coming in. It's a really nice day. So. Six miles uh, from the centre, so about six miles. About a mile and a half each way. Uh, from Bradley Stoke, so 25 minutes. Um, about four miles. Yeah. Um, from Redland, so that's 20 minutes. five miles. 20 minute cycle. 25. 25. How far? Um, that is a good question. <laughs> well, it took me about 15 minutes to get in. I don't know, maybe, uh, I'm not sure actually. I haven't Googled it, I haven't looked. Yeah. I live in Hawfield, so uh, not too far yeah. away from here. Um, I think it's all right. Yeah, not too bad. Um, just look after the ones they've got. I think ours is pretty good, really. Yeah. From Filton to ours is UAE. good. We go um, around the MOD, which is all a cycle path. So from what we see, it's pretty good already. Obviously, more cycle paths is always good anyway. Uh, from where I live, it's, there's not many cycle paths, so I stuck for a housing estate, so it's not, not so, such a big deal. But um, I've been on the Filton Road a few times, and there is a cycle path, so it seems pretty adequate. So. I don't think it's too bad to this campus here, but I'm actually based at Glenside, and we don't have something like that. It would be really good to have that, because yeah. most of the parking is uncovered. Yeah. And also the approach to the, the campus itself is, is quite dangerous. Uh, as a cyclist, I would always prefer more. Yeah. So the more, the merrier. I mean, Bristol is supposedly a cycle-friendly city, and there are lots of cyclists around. But the people that I speak to, they say they're quite nervous about cycling because of the congestion of the cars, um, and quite a lot of the time there is a cycle path, but then it disappears, and then there's no rules to say what you're supposed to do. Um, so I think it could be better. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Priority. We've just got back from Berlin and uh, the cyclists are so um, supported there. Like they have bike lanes just on the pavement, so much safer. Whoever designed these bike lanes in like the middle of the road in mm. Bristol, it's just like death yeah. waiting to happen. Yeah, definitely need more cycling infrastructure. Like, yeah, it's something that really frustrates us actually. Uh, well, it's good for being able to concentrate when you arrive, like, it, you know, something different rather than sitting down at the exercise. And it would take me longer to drive here as well. It's quicker. Same. Uh, it's cheaper and it's quicker, especially with the bus service here in Bristol. I drove past you in the morning because they're too busy, so, and cycling's much quicker anyway for us. Uh, just because well, it's cheap, it's cheaper, it's convenient. Don't have to wait for a bus. Uh, no traffic necessarily, so yeah, for those reasons. And it's it's cheap. <laughs> I mean, obviously you got to buy the bike, but obviously you we have their plan. Like I've never done it, but they have their plan. Um, but it's healthy as well. It's good, especially what that's 3.5 miles in, 3.5 back. That's seven miles a day. Seven miles a day cycling just gets a little bit of fitness. In Bristol, it's a lot quicker. You don't get you, well, you can get through the congestion a lot better. Now I don't actually have a car. Buses, it would be a two. I need to take two buses and I just enjoy cycling as well. For one, it keeps you fit, you know, as long as you do it often, you know, any form of exercise is good for you, so that's a big part of it. Um, I try and be as eco-friendly as possible, so I, it worries me if I'm getting the bus uh, a lot and, you know, I'll, I'll get a lift with someone if they're coming in, but, uh, you know, the whole notion of someone driving to uni by themselves with a car which takes say from my house takes about 45 minutes in the morning yeah. and whereas for me it takes me about between 15 and 12 minutes you know it, it, it's obvious what you should do yeah it's faster helps the environment uh, and it also has a really good feel-good factor as well like just if I get on my bike go for a cycle and then I feel instantly better 
almost it's um this one's over full i know they're building another one on the other side it looks like but nobody seems to be actually doing anything with it which is a bit disappointing and yeah they, they could do with more bigger lockers as well because obviously if you've got a coat and shoes and you've got a wet coat you've got to change um so yeah a bit more space for personal stuff would be good yeah i mean the shed's pretty good but it's always full so we'd prefer more um it's just good keeping your bike inside because you can lock your helmet up with it as well and not have to deal with a wet bike and um, yeah like obviously this is new but there's there's still not enough like there's like clearly by the overflow like you can tell there's not enough like i know there's this one and the one down the bottom but the one down the bottom is just the small I don't actually keep my bike up here or anywhere in here, I actually keep it inside the university because um, I've got a workspace where people are, are able to do so, but it seems okay to me. But saying that, you know, I can see bikes that are chained up to the, uh, to the fence over there, so, but, yeah, but I mean, this is great, this is new, so it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the university is quite good. It's yeah. getting there. I think there still could be more, like maybe a few more of these, because if you look around today, it's just absolutely jam-packed. I never really can find a space for my bike around here. So I think definitely a few more of these, um, maybe just taking yeah. into like account of like cycle lanes around here, because they just blocked off like a, a cycle lane uh, path down there, which is quite unsafe on the road. So maybe just factor that in as well, but they're getting there. <laughs> In this area, pretty safe. It's when you get into town um, that it's, yeah, gets a bit more hairy, but um, no, it's nice up here. Pretty safe. Um, we, <laughs> one of our friends fell off the other day and hurt himself, so we're definitely wearing our, wearing our helmets from now on. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, our path is usually cycle path, so we feel quite safe. Uh, fairly safe, but then I've had a run in the other day with a angry driver, which was a bit of a, difficult thing to deal with yeah. yeah I mean my route's quite safe so I feel safe like um, I'm on barely any roads on my route but um when I'm on main roads I don't feel safe cycling but that is just because I drive as well and I know how stupid drivers are um on the road not so much people cut you up um on the paths fine but you don't want to run into people <laughs> um in this area immediately not too bad but as I said um the approach to Glenside is really quite dangerous uh, I feel I do feel safe actually, safe enough not to wear a helmet, but uh, <laughs> only because there's like there are specific cycle routes, so you can almost cut through uh, and avoid the main roads. That's really good for Bristol, but there isn't. I, well, I can't. You can't demand more of those because there's only so much uh, that could be there because obviously they're normally already routes there, but they've just decided to put put it as a cycle route as well as a footpath. So yeah. Oh. Quite safe, but um, not safe. Well, not I safe. I make my presence known on the road by kind of you know making sure you're not like right in the gutter, and if you demand to be treated like a car, then hopefully they'll treat you like. A car. But it's not safe at all. Like some of my friends, they don't cycle because they're just really scared because there's no there's not really a safe place for a cyclist to cycle, so. Unless you have a really fast road bike and you're willing to just go for it yeah. and just... But then if people just want to leisurely cycle and just like go, go to uni and go to work, there's no real like just a cycle lane separate from the road, a safe place for them, so... Definitely, yeah, yeah. Um, it's the only way to travel. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's definitely the easiest option. Anyway, it's nice. good all round. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah. You need to know uh, what you're doing and perhaps a bit of um, advice and skills. But um, once you get the experience, it's yeah, absolutely fine. Of course, I would. Yeah, um, I would definitely recommend cycling to other people. You know, it's good to see how many people do cycle. I'm actually uh, quite surprised actually, um, but. There's a very good company that has just been set up uh, by the team entrepreneurs um, down in the hub just down there. It's called Green Wheels. Uh, I recommend any student to uh, check them out if you need your bike being repaired or if, you need, um, if you're looking to buy a new bike. They sell mango bikes, they're really good. 
a little bit of advertising there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, 100% recommend cycling. It's good. It's good for everyone. Good yeah. for everyone. Good, good. All right. Awesome. No problem at all. Definitely, definitely, yes. Um, yeah, it's the best method of transport for students. Definitely. It's especially in second year when everyone lives in different places. Um, quite often there's no direct bus route. Um, mm. And there's good, really good uh, cycle path on the last bit towards UE from, from the city centre. So it's, it's definitely easy and safe. And uh, I definitely it gets you it. there on time, makes you feel good, helps the environment. Everyone should cycle. <laughs> no worries. I hope you found that video useful. But um, from that research, we basically gathered that people cycle to university because it's more healthy and it's quicker. With some people saying that that's their only way of, of travelling, really. Um, but they would like more bike storage because there's obviously a lack of that. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you.